Hi, I'm Miss Danielle with the Grimshaw Municipal Library, and I'm here to show you our feature creature for this month, and we'd like to thank our sponsors, MD135. So this month, we're gonna make an anglerfish, and in your kit, you're gonna find um, this little packet that has um, some white thread to sew on your little sequence eyeball, a magnet, a needle, and a bead that actually has glow-in-the-dark paint on it. So if you charge it with some light, then you're gonna, it'll glow. We also have some orange yarn and some brown yarn, I mean, and some white yarn, and we have a little pipe cleaner. And this, and a plastic canvas, because this is what you're making. And then on the back, you're gonna glue the magnet. And you can put it on your fridge or your locker. Oh, and you're gonna also have this in, um, instructional pattern sheet pattern. Yeah. Um, and you're gonna have this which has a word search on the back and um, I just wanted to tell you that an anglerfish can get one to three feet long and up to 100 pounds which is super heavy and they taste like lobster and the thing that makes them special is they have an SK on top of their head that comes out of their dorsal fin and when they want to um, catch prey or find a mate they throw their little antenna out like this and they let their bead or their light glow and it um, attracts food for a mate which is kind of cool so I'm going to show you um, just how to do a counted canvas, um, plastic canvas. So we're going to start, um, we're going to start right here and we're going to count in one, two, three and up three. And then this will be where we go. So we're going to one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And that's my start. Okay. So it's the holes. So we're going to go up one, two, three, and we're going to go in three, right? One, two, three, three, and then start on the fourth. Yep. And so you're just basically going to pull it through. Oh, I started on the back side. Sorry, I need to start on the back side. I'm going to pull it through. And you're going to hold your string like that. Because you don't want to have a knot in it, you just want to hold that in there and then use the rest of the stitches yep. to hold it in place. And then you're going to go up like that. And then when you go back through the back again for your second stitch, you catch this tail like that. And that helps anchor. Oh, I missed my spot. Dang. Sorry. It's hard to do it from the back to the front. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few stitches here. You just count over the number of squares there are. And you go all in one direction and yep. then what happens? Let's pretend that that line had four stitches in it. Okay, so then when you're on the back, you just bring your stitch back this way and you come in again like this. So basically you just pulled the whole thread across and then you're stitching the same way. And then when you're ready to finish, it's not as easy to do it from the back. <laughs> um, when you're ready to finish, you're just gonna take, sorry, I gotta do one more stitch here so I can show you. Okay, we're finished. So then you're gonna take your thread and your needle and you're going to run it back through one of your lines of stitches without going through to the front of the canvas yep. so it's hidden from the front so it looks like that and then you just cut it off and you don't have to tie knots or anything and it holds just like that and stays nice and tidy yeah so um when you finish okay. sorry we just had to pause for a minute so when you're finished if you want to send us a picture of your um, anglerfish and where you've stuck it, we would love for you to um, send us a picture to the library.
Hope you guys enjoy your anglerfish. Have a great day. Bye.